Welcome to the Sakonic Studio Deluxe 3 L398A Quick Start Video. The Sakonic L398A is still a favorite with photographers and cinematographers the world over due to its pure analog experience. In this video, we'll help you set up and use the L398A to take ambient light meter readings. Let's get started. The Sakonic L398A uses an amorphous photocell that generates its own power, so there is no need for a battery. It is ready to go right out of the box. The L398A makes light measurements using a simple meter needle. The measurements are then transferred to a computer dial for exposure settings. Before making readings, press and turn the silver stopper button in the center of the dial until the dot is top dead center and the button pops up when you lift your finger off of it. This will lock the meter needle in place. Metering ambient light. Ambient light is any form of continuous light. For example, the sun, studio hot lights, or any non-strobe light. The L398A's simple analog system makes it easy to get accurate exposures in any ambient light situation. To do an ambient light meter reading, first set the ISO. Let's use ISO 400. Set the ISO by placing your finger on the raised pattern near the silver stop button and moving the dial until you see 400 in the ISO window. For incident readings in normal indoor situations, point the lumisphere in the direction of the camera from the subject's position. Press the silver stopper button to allow the meter needle to move to indicate the amount of light present. Release pressure on the button when the needle stops to trap the needle in place. The L398A indicates brightness in units called foot candles. Now grasp the outside of the dial and turn it so that the red pointer lines up with the meter needle. Next, turn the black dial ring so that the black pointer on the computer dial lines up with the same foot candle value that is indicated by the needle. Now you will have an accurate exposure in EV, as well as numerous aperture and shutter speed combinations that will all give you an accurate exposure when transferred to your camera. If you are measuring light for motion picture, refer to the orange numbers near the center of the dial followed by the word Cine. These represent Cine camera frame rates. The aperture number on the outer dial that's directly below the frame rate number is the proper f-stop for that Cine frame rate. When measuring light in bright outdoor conditions, insert the high slide, found on the back of the meter, into the opening on the top of the meter head. The high slide reduces the amount of light striking the meter's photocell, making it possible to take measurements in bright light. Now press the silver stop button to measure the light. Grasp the outside edge of the dial and turn it to align the red pointer and the needle. Then turn the black dial so that the red pointer marked H on the computer dial lines up with the foot candle number indicated by the needle. As with lower light indoor measurements, you will now have an accurate exposure in EV, as well as numerous aperture and shutter speed combinations that will all give you an accurate exposure when transferred to your camera. L398 Accessories Among the accessories included with the L398A are a LumaDisc used for determining ratios of two or more light sources, and a LumaGrid used to take reflected light readings when the meter is pointed at the subject from the camera position. Optional accessories include a series of 11 direct reading slides used for measuring light with the LumaSphere and LumaDisc. When using the direct reading slides, the aperture number for exposure is indicated by the meter needle. This concludes the Sakonic L398A Quick Start video. To learn more about your meter, consult the operating instructions manual that came with your meter. For ongoing metering tips, check out our blog at blog.saconic.com.